Good morning. I built a vapor hood or a fume hood for the garage and uh, it's really quite an important uh, piece of gear. I built it out of um, very inexpensive stuff. I went to the store and I bought a uh, half sheet of plywood, three quarter of an inch thick. I think I paid $32 for that. And um, a couple of pieces of thin polycarbonate plastic. And I bought one of these exhaust fans that are used apparently in horticulture to exhaust greenhouses. And I bought a six inch version and it's way bigger than I need. I could have bought the four inch and it would have been fine. So I'll take you to the garage and we'll uh, take a look. It's a very short video, but uh, I, I consider it a super important piece of equipment. Here's the um, fume hood. It's really simple. The design is it's just cheap three quarter inch plywood. Um, it uses a six inch uh, exhaust fan and some flexible ducting that goes outside of the garage. This is a sheet of 60 thou polycarbonate plastic, inexpensive sheet on top. That allows the light uh, from overhead to get through. The dimensions of the box are, let's see, I can get back here far enough, show you the whole box. It's 24 tall. And it's 30 wide and it's uh, 16 deep. And that's, uh, you can see, I think that it's plenty big enough. I've Right now I've got two um, hot plates in here. This one has a stirrer and this one has, uh, this one's just a hot plate. And um, they, they can be indep independently, the temperature can be independently set on each one. And this has a magnetic stir bar, which is quite convenient in some applications. The cords come out a little mouse hole in the bottom. And um, this six inch exhaust fan is probably way too big. I see that they also sell four inch. I think if I had to do it again, I would just use a four inch because even on its lowest setting, um, this thing is plenty powerful enough to exhaust the chamber, which I'll try to demonstrate right now. So I'll turn the fan on its uh, lowest setting. That's low. And I've got a uh, incense, piece of incense. And I don't know if you can see that, but it, there's no, dead spots at all. The incense, the smoke goes right in everywhere. I hope that's uh, visible. I'll try it from a different camera angle. Is that better? Yeah, that's way better. So there's no place where the air um, like circulates and comes back out or something. It's um, quite effective. The other really nice thing about it is it's really light and it can, it's only put together using screws and it can be broken down in roughly 10 minutes and assembled in a similar time. So when I'm not using it and I want to get rid of it for a while, I can tear it apart put it away and uh, put it back together when I need it. The bottom, it, there's no bottom on this. This is just a piece of um, uh, poster board. No, I don't know, mat board. That's just a piece of mat board um, covering the bottom so it can be replaced when it gets dirty. 
Now I'm filming through the polycarbonate. You can probably see the reflection. But uh, it shows that it's very easy to film um, with this kind of configuration. So I'm totally happy with it. And it took about uh, two and a half hours to build. And um, I don't remember what I paid for the fan, but the little four inch fans plus the the ducting it comes like in a little kit. Um, very inexpensive.